Welcome back to another episode of Way 4 5. Last time on the series, we played Foot Champs. Done quite well, got a few decent results, got a few decent picks, and we got a few decent packs and we made some coins. And as you can see on the screen, we've made a few upgrades. As you can see, we've got a new cam. We've gone from Bruno, who was stressing me out over the last couple of weeks. We've now upgraded to Rule Breaker, Emil Smith Rowe. Cost us 85k. We have lost a bit of coins on him, but he is a good card, as you're going to see in today's episode. We've also finally upgraded to Inform Liao. The stats are there, they're showing you it for themselves. We've also got a few players we packed on the bench in Valverde and Vinicius Jr. I'm going to find a way to fit Vinny into our starting squad. I will find a way. Hopefully, maybe Liao gets to like an inform strike or an out of position strike card that we can get. And that way we can incorporate Vinny and Liao into our team. But today we played some Div Rivals. We've got some Div Rivals gameplay on the channel for you guys today. So without further ado, let's get into today's gameplay. I opened a few player picks. The 75 plus player picks were out. I opened 10 of them. And I just wanted to see if we could get anything decent, you know, anything for the wise. Because I wanted to do the hero icon. Hero icon? The 87 max hero pack. We got a rule breaker moon here and there. It's actually a decent card to use. I might even add him into our squad if I change things about. But yeah, like I said, we just wanted to do some of these, get a few decent players involved. I think in this one here, we got ZX. We've got a few decent, decent players. Nice high rate of players that can go into SPCs and stuff. I think I got Valverde in my last one or my second to last one. I kinda remember. Yeah, so second to last one here, we got Valverde. And then the last one doesn't really offer us much. But I wasn't annoyed, I was happy, you know. 10 player picks, 75 plus, and we've got some decent players from them. So I wasn't really complaining. Now, into the first game of the episode today. We started off so slow. Haven't played FIFA in a couple of days. Haven't played FIFA since Friday as I was away over the weekend. But I still managed to get those two videos out for you over the weekend. If not, the main account video is actually out on our channel right now. So I will leave a link just up here in the cards. But yeah, nice long ball into the box. My defenders are just asleep. And this rule breaker, Becky, has scored it. Uh, I think he's. I think that card's actually quite decent. 92 pace, lengthy, uh, uh, accelerate type. That's going to be a card that will just cook you, really. But yeah, I was kind of. A, I had a slow start in this game. My first game back on FIFA in about four days. And I just got moved to in the first couple of minutes. Like, as you can see here. He gets that shot off, I go 2-0 down, and I was just like, uh, okay, we're doing this thing again where I have to go 2-0 down, 1-0 down, before I wake up in the game again. But luckily, I managed to get into my goof straight away, nice and quick. Just held up the ball here, didn't want to force it too much. I was looking for the open pass. Eventually, we start to work it around the corner, get it back to Benacer, into Leal, into Rashford, and there it is, 2-1 into this game. Just before halftime. Uh, I think it's better I went in at half time 2 1 down and not 2 0 down because I felt like I'd have been struggling too much in this game had I been 2 0 down. Especially considering this, this guy was actually not that good. I had the beating of this guy 100%. I knew I could just get this guy the best out of myself. I kind of just beat him. Half time sets there. The game isn't far off at all. Position sets. I'm dominating the ball. Same amount of shots. You know, I've kind of just been a bit lackluster in front of goal in that first half. But luckily, second half, things changed around. Won the ball here. Started playing my normal football. Moving the ball. Turn, half turn with Liao. And what a free ball that is to Emil Smith through. I didn't even realise in this game that Liao hadn't even scored. But Liao had been playing so well for me in this game. I didn't even notice it. It was just that second nature to me. Maybe as a two up top he works better instead of having to be like the lone striker kind of thing. Especially because his inform can become lengthy. So therefore I'm not relying on his shooting to be amazing as well. 83 finishing, that's enough to do, to do damage in front of goal as well. Especially if you are good at finishing this year. Because I'll be real, shooting this year on FIFA, all you need is your L2 button and more time you're going to score. Or a bit of power on your shot and it's a guaranteed goal. We got a free kick here with Rashford. I thought, you know what, he's my highest rated free kick taker on the pitch. I might just try a little something. Maybe I can get a goal from it. Probably one of the worst free kicks I've ever taken this FIFA. That was so bad. 
But we move on from that and we try and get a third goal in this game. Nice bit of build up play again here. Leal holding it up. Venice here. Tried to move it through. Won it back. Started build up again. Play it inside. Two to Nali to Venice here. Back to Smith throw. And it's just nice combination plays. Cut it back on the byline into Salah. What a goal. That is beautiful link up play right there. That is quality link up play. And then again here, nice long ball out to Smith Rowe with my goalkeeper. Just take my time with things, play it out to Leal. And what a goal this is. Whipped it in. First time shot with Salah. Goal. And you know what happens after the fourth goal? You know what usually happens on this channel? When I make a comeback from 2-0 down, they can't handle it and they get and we get the rage quit. And yeah, just looking at the stats here. Smith for a goal and assist, rush with the goal, Salah with two goals, Liao with three assists. Maybe I was holding Liao back as a single striker because the fact he's already got five goals, three assists in in his first two games here, it's, it's kind of mental, like, well, not two games, first couple of games, but we'll get into more of that gameplay in other episodes of the, of the series. But yeah, Liao just, he was cooking, man. He was, he felt so good. He feels much better than his normal card. A bit more agile, a bit more, a bit faster as well. Obviously, I've given him architect, so he's much, much stronger on the ball now. But his passing was one thing that felt really, really good. And I feel like maybe that's what I needed on him. I needed an architect more than a finisher. I feel like him as a second striker or out wide is much better than him as a lone striker. I know this series is about Liao, but because I kind of like center things around him as a central striker as well, that's why I kind of struggled at the start of champs. You know, when I changed things up to a 4 to 3 2 1, had him as a left forward or a striker sometimes, it seemed to work much better and I managed to get better results and then eventually go 11 and 4. Could have probably gone 14 and 6, 16 or 4, who knows. Maybe try again this weekend, try to go for something bigger and better because we have got the whole weekend to play our champs this weekend. And maybe we can just see what we do. Uh, this game here, again, started off slow. Gave the ball away in the midfield, seven minutes in. He plays it across. Vlahovic is there. Vlahovic, Medivic, you know. Uh, but yeah, we come again with the ball. Look at this from Liao. Look, fake shot. Bang. Cut back. Look at him. He's... he's he needs some milk. Falling over. Absolutely murdered him. And we got the finish with Leo. What a goal. Absolutely killed his Benucci. As in, he was on ice skates. Couldn't do nothing. Get the ball here from a corner. Play it out to Smith Rowe. Edge of the box, sorry, into the box to Leal, one more to Salah, make it 2-1. And just like that, we've turned the game around again. Once again, it's another case of Jay going 1-0 down and having to turn the game around. When it should be much easier, much more simple than that. So half time we go in 2-1 up and we just we just steamroll from here. Honestly, it was nice and easy. Combination plays galore. You know how I do it on this channel, just pure combination plays. Driving into the box. Salah finessed it. What a goal. Salah, Salah's on demon time now. I think I was trying him out on the left for the whole outside the boot stuff. Talking about outside the boot. He was a member of Tonali. I thought I could score outside the boot shot. It didn't work. Getting the corner from it. But yeah, I was trying to do the whole meta stuff with Salah. But with someone like Salah, you just got to kind of stick to what you know. And it, it worked. You know, we stuck to what we know with Salah. And here we go again. Salah gets, I think this is his hat trick, in fact. No. Yeah, Salah gets his hat trick. 4 1. And you don't know what's coming after that. Two games, two rage quits in today's episode. Nice and easy work from the Way 4 5 boys. And yeah, we'll be back again with another video sometime this week. Should maybe drop on, I think a video should drop on Friday, most likely. Uh, I probably won't be streaming champs on Friday as I'm, as I'm at work. So, most likely going to be a Saturday, Saturday, Sunday stream. Usually, I, I think I might prefer the Friday, the Friday, Saturday stream. I feel like maybe that's better for me. But obviously, only time will tell when it comes to the Friday, Saturday streams. It's been your boy, J2. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Comment down below all the kind of players you're using this FIFA. What your team looks like. I am going to get a Discord sorted out soon. So you guys can kind of send me team reviews, ask for custom tactics and whatnot, and all that good stuff. 
So, as I said already, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. I am seeing a lot more growth on the channel, and I'm thankful to you guys for sharing the videos, leaving the likes, leaving the comments, and whatnot. I do see them and I do respond to them. Also on TikTok as well, I see the love, I see the comments, and stuff like that. And I really appreciate you guys. Without you, there is no J2. And once again, I just want to say thank you guys very much for the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs>